Tennessee intercourse algebra one practice test question number 15 now this question says which one of these is not a function uh, remember when we talk about functions or when we have talked about them in class we've talked about functions being a representation of time travel so going from here to here the x-axis represents time this represents your position in those time periods in order for something not to be a function uh, you would have to be in more than one place in the same time period. That happened to Marty McFly, and he almost ended up kissing his mother. Actually, he did end up kissing his mother. I don't know if you've seen Back to the Future, but if you haven't, this math lesson works way better. So what I'm going to do is use a vertical line test to determine whether I'm in two places at once, because I'm not allowed to be. If I'm not, if I break the rules of time travel, I'm not a function. Just draw a line straight up and down as best you can. Sometimes it's a little tougher than others. This one never ever hits. These are following the rules of time travel. They're smart. Not like Marty McFly. They are not kissing their mothers. That's okay. This one, however, this is the end of time. There is nothing, everything is happening at once. I think Einstein said that's uh, what happens at the speed of light, but now we're finding out that, you know, the speed of light isn't even the fastest things can go, whatever. Um, this breaks the rules of time travel, so it is not a function, so the answer to number 15 is D.